this is Easy Gaber. Now today in War Thunder we've got another dev blog, and we are looking at a aircraft for the Russian, uh, the Israeli tech tree. This is basically a Mischer Smith that has just been reworked. It's quite an interesting machine actually. Um, very. I'll, I was reading up about it and took some notes. And what basically happened with this Mischer Smith is. After the war, Czechoslovakia took over the production, but they had a lack of uh, Daimler-Benz engines. So what they did is they took the Junkers uh, Jumbo 211F engine. Sorry, I just got to try. I got. To, I had to remember that. I didn't write that down. And they put it into this. This is why you'll see the nose looks a lot different to other Messerschmitt. So I was also reading some comments, people were saying it's just another Messerschmitt and I happen to disagree with that. And then I read another comment where the guy said this is a new model. Yes, this is a complete new model with a bit of a weaker engine, in my opinion, than what the other Messerschmitts in the game have. So first flight of this plane was in March 1947 and... Production ended in 1949, short run, but the problem with this plane was it had many problems. It was unreliable. Um, by the end of the Arab-Israeli war, there were only like six in operational that they had bought from Czechoslovakia. It was produced by the company Avis, Ava, Ava. There were four different variants made of this, a trainer, two-seater, so yeah, it was quite an interesting plane. 550 of these were built. It's a medium altitude fighter, I would put it as, because it's got a very bad climb rate and uh, a low max speed as well. Uh, what else can I derive? Yeah. Uh, Israel placed an order for them, and oh, I can't remember now how many, but they placed an order. It arrived on the 20th of March in 1948 in Israel, except for two, weren't, uh, did not arrive. Six days uh, after Israel declared independence. And what else can I get on to armament? It's got two MG-151 cannons. In the mounted pods here yeah. and it's got mg131 machine guns i'm sure that's in the dawnslet of the nose here yeah. if you go down sorry if you go try to look at this i think there's your machine guns as you can see it's a quite a nice looking design it's almost not really looks like a messersmith really it's really a nice um it just uses the the, the junker engine um it was used in quite a few battles, um, but I th it was used as a ground strike aircraft fighter. So I don't know if this will have some secondary armaments that could be put onto it. Well, what else can we touch on? However, the well-designed airframe still retained a very flatter. Oh yeah, also the prop comes from a J Ju88 bomber. So they were saying that the handling of the plane was very bad. Um, yeah, that was another thing I picked up. Yeah, it was used in a ground attack role and one of the Israeli pilots shot down two Egyptian fighters in this plane. They say when it worked, it worked quite well. The Czechs named it the, gave it the nickname the Mule. The Israelis gave it the nickname Sekuna, Sekina, something along those lines, but it means the knife. And it was also known as the measure, which in German apparently is also knife. So let's get into what War Thunder has to say. The, the, this Czech Avis S-99, that was the designation they gave it. Fighter became the aircraft which Israel pilots achieved their first aerial victory. Yeah, that is true. Uh, a, the Ava S-190 Israel fighter, Israel rank 5, low max speed climb rate. High flattering threshold. The S-190 fighter became one of the first aircraft Israel tech tree. Will appear in the hangar of the Israel Air Force. Close beta testing pilots with the release of the winged lions update. 
At rank 5, additional rank mark starting points, Israel A branch. Uh, bo -bo 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 -bo. No, there's nothing really much. It's a they say no, it'll be a excellent boom and zoom tactic aircraft. Dive against speed, high altitude to enemy below, following by upward zoom to return to relative safety. No, the measurement in terms of armament uh, lacks a 20 millimeter motor cannon but retrains a pair of high caliber MG313 machine guns and a couple of rifle caliber machine guns in the wings, which can and should at the earliest opportunity be replaced with two classical under gun pods, powerful 20 millimeter MGs. Okay, there it is. The Sakina can also be equipped with several types of small caliber bombs. So you've got the 50, the 70, and the 50, which are carried externally, several pylons. This entry-level aircraft will arrive on the released wing lion, major update, and take part in close beta testing. If Israel, along the first fly masters, various aircraft, new playable. And then if you buy these packs, you get part of that testing. So is it something what under needs um i don't think so but is it something unique yes there i do agree and this is what i've always said the the, the variety war thunder has become a lot now of copy paste and even when i heard about israel coming i said that i remember from reading and that that one of their first aircraft they obtained under the arms of Barger, and that was the Messerschmitt 109. But now that I'm actually looking at it, I do see that this is a unique aircraft. It is something that needs to be shown. People need to see it. It was a flop to a certain extent because it didn't achieve what it needed to do. They were selling when they did the negotiation to buy the aircraft in 19... Oh, where did I write that down now? In 1947, about there, about they paid a hundred, a hundred and ninety thousand dollars for an aircraft that gave them a lot of problems. By the by, the end of the uh, Arab-Israeli War, most of them were already taken off and put to reserve duties because it had so many problems. So. Yeah, but for the uniqueness, those problems won't affect us in the game. But for the uniqueness and for the beauty of the aircraft, I do agree. This is something really nice. It, it's unique. And yeah, we'll see how it plays in game. It might just be another copy of a Messerschmitt, but it might not also be. So we are having one hell of a rainstorm here. I need to go pull my car in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for commenting. I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.